Hello everyone, welcome back. My version of the MRI visualization tool is now available on my Patreon for silver tier members and above. But even if you're not on the Patreon, you may find this interesting and or educational. So what I have in this file, which you can find on the members lounge, got us online slash members, is a series of different categorical types of MRI slices from a scan I had taken in 2023, I believe. So we can see those represented here. The scans are made of a variety of image slices, which have been packed into a flipbook file, which we can see at the back there. It's basically like a sprite atlas if that's something you're more familiar with from there they can be compounded together to build up a volume either in the shader nodes or the geometry nodes and in the case of geometry nodes they can also be turned into 3d meshes but i'm not focused on that in this file given that the scan data is grayscale from black to white it means you can pass a color ramp or you could rather pass it through a color ramp to get different visual styles in this case something like a heat map by then splicing through the volume space you can use it as a scan visualization tool depending on the type of scan different things will appear white versus black when it comes to mri most of the data is soft tissue data rather than things like bone which you'll get on a ct scan however there are different subcategories of scans for example an iam scan which will provide us things such as the inner ear so if i go and find that quickly like here we'll be able to see things like the inner ear slash cochlea and semicircular canals which appear over here which is my particular area of interest with all this so this file was produced by ben and myself back in 2023 free we made it on video together so the whole process is recorded well almost the whole process this is not the first time that mri or any kind of you know medical scan visualization has been done we specifically chose a flipbook method which is not the only way to do it and it's also not the first time a flipbook method has been done the way it happened was that ben aka cartesian caramel was interested in ct scans of people and kind of visualizing them in blender around the similar time that interest was developing i was having my vestibular issues now because ben and i are friends and we talk pretty much every day or almost every day i was speaking to him a lot during that period and i said look if i can get a hold of my scan data do you want to build something together like a kind of visualizer tool of course he was interested and then that's when we did the video so we sat down put it together ben integrated his flipbook method i took it further over a blog post about the kind of usefulness and or limited usefulness of volume visualizations which is on my website i then took it and started doing visual log development stuff such as this heat mapping and other things i think i made some artwork with it as well after that point ben then made a free resource on gumroad so you can actually go and download this from ben which was his version from that file so basically at that point when we made that video we both took it and basically forked it in different directions my direction was to make myself this master visualization file so i can look back through the 2023 data in any way i like really and i've got like all different range of like visualization styles and methods to kind of like isolate different ranges within like the data which has been really interesting to play with as you can see ben basically packaged it up in a free resource just to make it easy for people so my patreon resource is similar to that free package except my Mine is this master file including my data so my medical data here because i'm okay with sharing that now i wasn't in the past but i am now for educational purposes for my patrons because they get more rights <laughs> However, it was interesting because as soon as I mentioned that I put this on my Patreon, on Twitter, we got like some kind of troll response from someone that said, oh my God, are you calling this your work when it's actually Cartesian Caramel's work? So I tagged Ben into it and I said, look at this troll. It's really funny when people think that like we're stealing from each other when they don't have the context of how something actually came to be. Did you know that if you download Ben's free resource, you're actually downloading some of my medical data? Not all of it, right? Ben asked if he could include the inner ear from the project in that file. So if you actually open it up, I can do that now, actually. So this is what you see when you open up Ben's version on Gumroad. But if you just rotate the camera, boom, secret snail. <laughs> hidden away here it is it's my little mark on the project the skull is not mine because that would be more from ct data although it would be cool to have so in my version of the patreon resource there are two files like i said there's this major one and then if you want to actually include your own scans in the visualizer tool there is an image flipbook packer tool which turns your scan images into these which you can then substitute in the actual scan objects so once you've made your little flipbook images of your scans you can basically just like choose whatever one you want to put into the volume visualizer and they just like adjust the slices so that it actually kind of maps it properly. There's all sorts of like cool visual effects you can do with this, by the way. You should definitely have like a little fun play around with it. Okay, so the image flipbook tool looks like this. What you need to do is you need to actually get your scan slices in an image format. They may come from the hospital or wherever you get them from in any number of formats, usually like a DICOM file format, and there are different tools to convert that. We do not provide, or rather I do not provide, a tool for converting DICOM down into images. I use a special piece of software that the hospital happened to give me, but I don't think I had the license or right to kind of distribute that, so I'm not going to do that, obviously. What you need to do is you need to import your scan images as planes, right? So there's a collection 
that says images, place images as planes here. If you went to like file, import, I'm not sure if they added by default the images as planes thing because it was an add-on that you needed to use. Let me just check. Okay, so if you press like F3 and then import images, you should be able to find your scan images once you have them and import them. So basically you just want them in sequence in this collection. Then in the object image packer under the modifier stack, you want to choose the collection the images are in, which it should be there by default anyway. And then you get to choose the number of rows slash columns for the images to fit in. Now what do you want to do is keep it as a positive value and just make sure it fits into a one by one aspect ratio, right? So if we go into the actual camera, we see here, if your value is too low and you've got too many images, they're going to be cutting off from the camera. So you want to keep it within this square right so five is appropriate for this number of images it's okay if you go higher but you're obviously going to get empty space so if you had many slices just do it like that and you can choose the resolution to render this square out it doesn't really matter what resolution it is obviously the higher the res the more you're going to capture in terms of quality but just as long as it fits within the square once you've rendered out and saved that render image then you can import it into the scan visualizer file and then replace in the shaders here these two nodes with your flipbook image then like i said play around with the slice value so notice that like the rendering before was on a value of five for the aspect ratio to fit them in and it says slices x5 so maybe you want to keep that to the same number if you don't then you'll see that it kind of gets messed up a bit but if these are the same between your flipbook output and the input here then you should be able to actually visualize the data. So that's how the tool works. And then what I like to do is I like to use this 3D representation in the bottom left as a tool to change what I'm looking at. So sometimes I'll just move one plane if I turn off the visibility there. By keeping the faces tight, we're preventing like volume bleed from previous slices. If I select everything in edit mode and scrub it back, then you see that we can kind of phase for it like that. You can include the volume light bleed by moving like one face back and you'll see get the three dimensional rep. So it depends like how much you want to focus on this in the shader nodes there's a divide value before the color ramp in a lot of cases but not every case and this will let you control like the range of the heat mapping based on the color ramp that you know you've provided so that can be changed to anything else and you know from this you have like artistic control over how to visualize things so yeah that's available if you want to grab it head on over to codasol.online slash patreon to learn more about how our patreon system works by signing up not only will you be getting access to things like this but also you'll be helping to increase the number of hours i can spend working on free things for the community every month so please consider it have a great day everyone if you made it this far through the video put a brain emoji in the comments so i can see if you did and i will see you next time